No finer epitaph could be extended President Kennedy than his own words from the speech he was to deliver in Dallas the day of his assassination. We in this country, in this generation, are by destiny rather than choice, the watchmen on the walls of world freedom. We ask that we may exercise our strength with wisdom and restraint, and that we may achieve for our time and for all time that ancient vision of peace on earth, goodwill toward men. That must always be our goal, and the righteousness of our cause must always underlie our strength. The world will remember those words of President Kennedy and his inaugural plea. Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Irish honor guard with a flourish of arms, and the precious banner that was the president's shroud for three days is folded smartly for presentation to Mrs. Kennedy. Eternal flame is lighted before the grave by Mrs. Kennedy, the first such memorial to burn in Arlington Cemetery. She is followed by the President's brothers, Robert and Edward. Thus the American people have buried their beloved leader. May his family find comfort in knowing they walked with greatness. And may the soul of John Fitzgerald Kennedy rest in peace. <laughs>